It is midnight. And this is KLIA. It's been a while. So I've got about an hour or so more to kill before it's time to board my flight. I was kind of hoping to eat something here. Gotta say, the options here, terrible. Like this sandwich is grossly overpriced. So I'm sure you already know from the title of this video what is finally happening. We are traveling to Japan and what's more is that I'm taking Philippines Airlines for the first time in my life. So that's gonna be interesting. Especially because that would mean a layover at Manila Airport. And I've never been to Manila, I've never been to the Philippines. So that's a little bit exciting. Alright, I'm at the gate now. A little bit of time left until we board the plane. And after that, it'll be a four hour flight to Manila. And hopefully, I'll be able to get at least a little bit of sleep in the plane. Alright, not bad, not bad. We are now in La Manila. Alright, Manila Airport. Not too much to see, at least in this area. But this is where my gate is, so... 
got about 45 minutes or so until we board. The approach into Manila this morning was kind of breathtaking. So let's talk about the flight a little bit so far. I barely got any sleep at all. But it was not really because it was uncomfortable or anything. It was kind of alright. There just wasn't a lot of time to do any sleeping. Also, the in-flight meal was a little bit of a surprise. In a sense that I didn't know there was going to be an in-flight meal. And also in the sense that it was actually kind of tasty. In particular, there was this interesting little snack. There was peas and dried mangoes. Now, if you know me, I like neither of those things. But somehow, this combination worked out. It tasted pretty good, so that was an interesting meal. Right, about four more hours of flying. We should deposit me in Tokyo sometime 2 p.m. So yeah, here goes. So somehow this is a much better plane than the last one. Alright, managed to get some sleep this time. Solid little cast over Tokyo today. Pretty bumpy right through the goo coming down. Over here. Okay, so Philippines Airlines. Actually not bad. We'll fly again. Only thing is, if you ever fly Philippine Airlines, it's not worth making a special order for the in-flight meal because everyone gets one anyway so it's not really worth spending any extra money on that Alright, welcome to Japan I still have about an hour or so before I can get to my Airbnb so the ordeal is not quite over. I shall be very relieved when I can put all of my luggage into the room. Seeing this, welcome to Tokyo. <laughs> deeply familiar, deeply missed. What a bomb for the soul. Welcome to Tokyo.
So I've got one last 30 minute train still to get to the area that I'm living in. Welcome to my backyard. It's raining, but we never let a little rain dampen our spirits. Look at the Christmas lights. Oh man, the town of Hino, how I've missed it. So we're in the room, finally, and you may think that it is now time to just relax for the rest of the day, take it easy, understandably, but you'd be wrong. There's actually a little someplace that I've been planning to go to all along. So we are heading back out into the rain. So Google Maps says that it'll be a 33 minute walk. So I hope I don't regret this. I don't think I will though. I think 33 minutes in this. It's gotta be a nice time. <laughs> So the weather report reports 14 degrees Celsius which honestly is perfect it's cold enough but not quite uncomfortable yet and the rain adds a little extra touch of chill to it Okay, we're almost there now and if you're wondering where there is, it is an onsen bathing facility which is something that I used to enjoy exquisitely and it's also something that has been missing from my life for three whole years and I'm very anxious to experience it again so it's gonna happen <laughs> Okay, so for obvious reasons, I'm going to put the camera away now until I'm done with all the bathing business and then I'll take it back out and show you around. So, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait. This is kind of obscenely good. Yeah. I think curry was the right choice here. It's one of those things that Japanese restaurants quite effortlessly get right. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to get decent ones outside of Japan. It's so delicious. Mm. Bath was also great. All it took was for me to just step into the outdoor bath and I instantly remembered why I love this stuff so much. 
it's it's kind of the smell of the outside air, the cold breeze, mixed with the smell of the minerals and the hot water. It's such an amazing combination, you know. And kind of a selling point of this facility is that on a good day, from the bath, you can see Mount Fuji, as well as the Tanzawa mountain range. So you, I couldn't see it today, but still, it's a pretty nice place. It's a good facility. Communal bathing is one of those only in Japan things that after you've done enough times, you're like, we all, all the rest of us should do it. Alright, excellent way to cap off a very hectic day of travel. Oh, dang. That was nice. Anyway, that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. All that's left to do is to go back and sleep. So, there will be more videos. I'll see you in the next one.